Hey guys, so <coughs> I'm just uh, getting ready for work. I'm gonna head out soon. I slept in and it felt lovely. Um, so yeah, just working today mostly. I have a bit of shopping to do before work. I need to go buy a lock, um, get some face towels. Um, should make a short list before I forget everything that I need because I'll probably forget. That's really attractive. Ew, sorry. Um, so yeah, just heading to work. Um, new vlog is up. I'll upload the new Let's Watch the Flames Together vlog soon. So just making tea, gonna change. It's gonna be great. So I will see you after work. Ciao. Hey guys, I just got home from work. Um, if you live in Lethbridge, please be careful because it look. Can you imagine? The roads look like someone just dumped a bunch of glitter on it. <laughs> not the best not the best driving conditions so be careful out there um but yeah no work was good work wasn't bad um anyway work was good yeah it was work work was work and we do it again tomorrow so yeah pretty tired so i'm now officially done my christmas shopping no more no more everyone's covered so that's good um, so yeah, no, it's feeling good, feeling good. Yeah, how's your day been? Let me know. So this has been like the lamest vlog ever. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, my body's just coming down from school and the continuous sort of like adrenaline rush of like, you gotta do school you gotta work, you gotta, and now I'm like, I actually have time to breathe. So I've just been like chilling and watching YouTube and then I'm like, oh no, I'm neglecting you, I'm so sorry. So to make up for neglecting you, I think I'm gonna walk you through my um, nighttime routine to use that title. I'm just gonna um, show you what products I use, how I take off my makeup, um, take off my makeup and um, yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. So uh, we'll see how I do with uh, one of those. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, we're gonna try filming like this. I'm back. Um, so the first thing I do when I uh, get ready for bed is I take my mouth guard that you've seen in a couple of vlogs and put it in a thing of cold water with a thing of polydent in it. I know, really attractive. Um, and then I uh, take my glasses off, obviously, and use this. Da -da -da! This is the cleaning to take the day off um, cleansing balm. It's really good. It's pretty much like a solid, so it's a solid balm, and then with the heat of your hands and the heat of your face, um, it dissolves all your makeup really quickly and then you can just watch it off so you don't have to wet your face um, to use it which is really nice and when you're lazy like me um, it's really really nice and it's safe on your eyes too so you don't have to use something else for your eyes you can just use it for everything this is going to be really interesting to edit <laughs> I've never done a video like this before um, I don't know it probably won't be fancy so, that's just what I do. Okay, so as you can see, I'm pretty raccoon faced up. Um, so now I just take a face cloth. Da -da -da. Where do she go? I'm back. I take a face cloth and I just. Soak it in hot water. Bring it out. And I wipe all the excess oil off. I used to use um, white <laughs> face cloths for this. And you could really see how much uh, Stuff was coming off your face, so that was kind of gross, not gonna lie. Okay, so after I take
take all my makeup off and put on this beautiful, lovely headband. I take my Clinique Sonic brush, that might be loud, <laughs> my Clinique Sonic brush, um, and just a the Clinique Liquid Facial Soap for oily skin. Um, ever since I started using this, my skin I actually feel like it's less oily, um, so that's really good. So this is what I use. This is um, not really supposed to be used as an exfoliant, so I have to often remind myself to just like really gently just run it over my face uh, two cycles instead of like really scrubbing at it because that's not technically what it's for. Um, so that's what I do next. Alright, once that is done, I just take warm water, wash off my face, and pat it off, and we go to the next step. Okay! Mmm, <coughs> really attractive. Thank God I'm engaged. Um, so, after I uh, pat off my face, I like to brush my teeth, just to let everything dry out really well. This is going to be really fun. <laughs> All right. Next, I take the All About Eyes Clinique um, eye cream and I put a little bit just under each eye. They say it's easier to prevent um, the signs of aging than it is to try and like reduce the signs of aging. So I'm just trying to be preventative. This also like feels really good. It's really nourishing. Um, it's really thick. A little goes a long way. So that's awesome too. So just pop that under there and then while that's soaking in, one. On a cotton pad, I put the Clinique Clarifying Lotion, which is their toner, and this is a chemical toner, or a chemical um, exfoliant, so that's why you really don't have to go ham with the Sonic, or the skin brush, because this is also an exfoliator, and if you exfoliate your skin too much, um, it does actually damage your skin more than it uh, benefits it. So. Uh, that's why I try to be gentle. If you're ever um, washing your face and it feels super, super, super dry afterwards, that's not good because what I've learned um, through watching other people um, is that the natural oils in your skin is actually really beneficial. Um, so if you strip all the natural oils in your skin away by scrubbing the crap out of it, um, it's actually worse for your skin than it is um, if you, uh, if you, you know, leave them in there. It's like washing your hair, it's bad to wash your hair every single day because the natural oils actually like protect it and, you know, help it and keep it healthy. Um, so you should wash your hair every single day. Same thing, you shouldn't be scrubbing the crap out of your face either. Oh man. And then I let that toner dry. Usually like check Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, which I have all. I have Twitter and Instagram, so if you want to follow me, Raisin Omelette, just like the title name, um, or <laughs> channel name, so you can follow me there. Like, not really looking at the camera, I'm both looking at the mirror, I don't really know where to look. That, that, and that red light is probably annoying as balls. Sorry, folks. Uh, this is, you know, learning experience, new channels, this is what we do. Alrighty, so that's pretty dry. And then what I've been doing, just super recently, is I got a sample of this Repairwear Sculpting Night Cream. Um, from Clinique again. I know, I have a problem. Here's the thing, I started working at Sears and there's a Clinique counter in Sears and I've always um, been really interested in Clinique because I, I think my mom used it and um, I just liked that they were like hypoallergenic and sort of you know, not 
they didn't seem to be as pumped with chemicals as some of the other skincare brands were. And um, and then the ladies who work in the makeup counter at Sears are just amazing. So I really put that discount to use, if you will, and I've just sort of invested in getting good skincare and talking to them and like learning a lot. So yes, I own a lot of Clinique, but what can you do? Um, and then while this soaks in a little bit, I, and I've disappeared from shot again, uh, put on a lip balm. This is, what is this? I don't know. It's from Bath and Body Works um, when I used to work there. Lip balm stick, mentha, mentha lip balm stick, 100% natural mint. Just lip balm. Nothing fancy. This is thick though. So, kind of disappeared. You do really feel like moisture. You don't feel like you're just wiping your own it. And it's just mint, like there's nothing like crazy. I know like this, I have the Body Shop um, strawberry lip balm stuff. And Miller hates the smell of that. And now I have two, so. Oh, well, what can you do? And then when this soaks in, because it's not technically a moisturizer, it's sort of more of a cream. So I use the dramatically different moisturizer gel. Shocker from Clinique, shocker to uh, just lock in that repair cream and moisturize my face. I only use two pumps because it is a gel, so it um, is actually really thin. So it coats your whole, for me anyway, because I have a smaller face, it really covers everything really well and it um, can cover my neck and everything too. And then most of the products I use, I try and sweep out from my face, so up and out instead of pushing it in. And then when I do it, I do it in circles, pushing everything out, because that's preventative as well. You know, the more you push something in, or forcibly sort of create wrinkles, then yeah, all of that good stuff. So yeah, that's my sort of nighttime routine. Uh, the only other thing I'm gonna do is rinse off my mouth guard and uh, in hot water, pop that in, super sexy. And uh, but yeah. Hopefully that was educational. Let's uh, and uh, hopefully that red light wasn't annoying as balls the whole time. Yeah, there you go. You learned something new. All right, guys. So I just watched some of the footage back. <laughs> My mirror is so disgusting. I am so so sorry that's so embarrassing and i even was like maybe i should like wipe this down before i record and i'm like nah i'm sure it'll be fine like oh, that was so embarrassing and i'm talking about the red light flashing of the record button you can't even see it in frame well there you go i'm new what, what can you do what can you do i'm new uh, i'll take it I'll take it. Um, I don't have a tripod or anything, so it was on my counter, okay? Nah, whatever. It was fun. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and, well now I really want to edit it and sort of like upload it and see how it looks. Um, but I really need to sleep, so maybe I won't do that. But thanks so much for coming along, guys. Hope you enjoyed my nighttime routine and sort of an and sort of like a replacement of the, the, the crappy really short vlog so hope you enjoyed that thanks so much for watching like this video if you like it subscribe if you really want it tell all your friends and uh have a wonderful rest of your day and i will see you again tomorrow hopefully without a really really gross mirror have a good day folks